So this, vi this video is still on the chapter of vectors in vector spaces and we are now on the section of distance angles and projections and here in this video in the previous video we introduced the concept of orthogonality of vectors so in this video we are going to show that orthogonality of vectors is symmetric but not transitive and this is a very important concept because this will have uh, high repercussions on the geometric level okay but I will get to that uh, later so two vectors they are symmetric I can use some intuition here so we have vector u and vector v if u is vector to v v is vector to u uh, sorry if u is orthogonal or uh, perpendicular to V, V is orthogonal or perpendicular to U. Okay, so this relation will be symmetric. Okay, okay. But the fact that um, uh, U is perpendicular to V, if there is another vector that is perpendicular to V, doesn't mean that U is perpendicular to V. So u times v at the end of the day, showing that two vector orthog uh, orthogonality of vectors is symmetric, is to show that u times v is the same as v times u. So u will be the vector u1, u2, un with components u1, u2, un. V will be the vector with components v1, v2, vn. Okay, so u times v is so u times v will be u1 times v1 plus u2 times v2 etc plus un times vn and what is v times u well v times u will be v1 times u1 plus v2 times u2 plus etc plus vn times un and of course uh, the multiplication is commutative right so these two they are the same okay u so uh, u times v equals v times u okay if you prefer in the summation notation so u times v is a summation from i equals 1 to n of u i v i but the ui and vi they are commutative okay we already proved all this in previous videos and this is v v times u okay so that concludes the proof okay so we just proved that um, uh, orthogonal vectors are symmetric if u is orthogonal to v v is orthogonal to u so we are asked to show that orthogonality is not transitive okay uh, so the proposition is all vectors u uh, if u if u is perpendicular to v and v is perpendicular to w it implies that u is perpendicular to w okay so this is a general proposition for all vectors. So in order to prove that this is not true, we only need to find a particular case of vectors u, v, and w, because this is a, a universal proposition. We only need a particular example okay, that shows that this is not true. So we only need to find vectors u, v and w where this does not happen okay we saw that in a previous video when we saw this example of u being 5 4 1 v being 3 minus 4 1 and w being 1 minus 2 3 so u is orthogonal to v and u is orthogonal to w but that doesn't mean that v is orthogonal to w okay so u is orthogonal 
to V and U is orthogonal to W. But that doesn't mean that V is orthogonal to W. OK. So we just saw that orthogonality of vectors is symmetric but not transitive.